Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here on the Riviera Maya. I'm here at the Grand at Moon Palace. And I'm here with Herberto, Heriberto, I should say, Heriberto Cota, who is the general manager here. And we've just finished a wonderful stay at this incredible property. I was here many, many years ago when it really actually didn't exist. The Moon Palace existed. But now this is a whole other level of resort. And we're going to find out all about that and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Heriberto, first of all, thank you. It's been a wonderful stay. Uh, we've had some incredible dining uh, experiences here. Uh, the pools are great. Everything is really super. But let's talk first about the accommodations because you have how many rooms here? We have 1,316 rooms. That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot, yes. But it's just enough for everybody to come and, and enjoy. Yeah. So what are the categories that you have pretty much? We have a wonderful suite. It's gorgeous. It has a dining room. It has a sunken living room. And, a, but, uh, all you, and it also has a, 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 a jacuzzi in, 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 the, in suite. So what are some of the other categories you have? Uh, we have um, uh, the uh, garden view category, uh, the swim-up rooms that are similar but uh, with a great fantastic future of having at the terrace the access to a, a pool um, and we also have presidential suites mm -hmm. uh, mainly those are the the categories uh, along with or f uh, fantastic family suites that are <coughs> perfect for as the name uh, states uh, families we uh, with uh, two bedroom mm -hmm. two bedded bedroom connected with a king size uh, bedroom for parents and, and kids. Well, that is important because this is a resort for everyone. We were up up the coast here a little bit at LeBlanc, which was really for couples only, which is, you know, palace resorts, kind of the highest end, I guess, but that's more boutique. Here it's luxury, but for everyone, right? That's correct. Uh, one of the, the main aspects uh, uh, that uh, separates uh, the LeBlanc and the Grand, it's actually the access to adults because this is also true luxury, uh, but as you mentioned, for everyone. We have uh, a golf course, so we can have uh, golfers, uh, even conventions. We have a fantastic uh, convention no, space. Yeah, I saw it, an amazing meeting areas and, and, and theaters and things like that as well, right? Correct. Yes, actually, um, we have uh, an auditorium and the theater where we perform uh, all the nightly uh, entertainment for our guests. Uh, that is for 1,000 people. It's uh, actually a big theater. Uh, we also have uh, different uh, pools, uh, not just one big uh, yeah. pool for everybody. Like today, we were just we just finished off. We were at sort of a, a club pool, and I can't remember the name. The the the, the that has music going. It's kind of like a, a Vegas, yeah, Ve Vegas style, Vegas and <laughs> Miami, whatever you That's want. Right. Uh, it's just wonderful. Then we were kind of more of a family pool, and then I think there are several other pools. There's one closer to the beach. I mean, there seems to be a pool for every occasion, right? <laughs> One of the aspects is that uh, we have different, uh, we have a family pool, a, f uh, a wellness pool, the unique day club that, that is, as you mentioned, a, a vibe uh, of its own uh, for party, for adults and enjoying. And we also have uh, more relaxing pools like Los Tacos and Caribeño, what, uh, that these pools are like very traditional with uh, great food options to dine right right there well we, we've we've sampled two or three and it's been amazing and then of course you talked about food and of course the, we're not going to go hungry here uh, there are some incredible restaurants I mean you think it's a, a massive resort but these restaurants are super so far we've tried uh, one of the Asian restaurants Jade and then we just tried last night your your high-end Mexican which is called I forget it's uh, Cielito Lindo y Querido okay like the song the very famous song uh, uh, that's the name of our fine dining uh, we also have a uh, another restaurant Mexican like uh, more street food uh, yeah, type right. but it's right it's right next to her you can go that's for lunch great. or something but we met the chef it's amazing and uh, there there was an incredible uh, Mayan coffee experience that uh, you we're gonna show a little bit of it here uh, that is just out, out the door and then we had dessert which you know uh, the, the Mayan coffee experience was actually dessert I don't know why we needed that too but it was both it <laughs> and the food was amazing it's not your typical Mexican food that you'll get down the block in New York but it's a very high-end and they have a wonderful chef. That's right. In, in fact, I would uh, I, I would say that the level of uh, uh, of the 
offer uh, in this restaurant. It's uh, equivalent to any great Mexican restaurant uh, in a, a renowned city uh, in Mexico. Uh, yeah. it's, it's up to that standard. It's very, very creative, uh, unique presentations and, and also a twist to very uh, traditional dishes. There is a mole that it's been aging like for 300 days. One, just one ingredient. So, you, so if you thought you knew mole, you haven't known mole till you get here, really. Right? That's correct. <laughs> yeah. Now let's we'll talk about the other restaurants because that's not where it stops. I mean, you have a steakhouse. Uh, you have actually, and hopefully we're going to try it tonight, we'll see a, a Lebanese restaurant, right? And then you have an Italian. Uh, so there's, is there anything else? I, I may have missed a very... And we also have an, an Argentinian re, uh, steakhouse along with the uh, traditional uh, American steakhouse, uh, JC Steakhouse and The Grill. Uh, I will have also to add um, that we have a Peruvian restaurant, yeah. it's Cusco. It's uh, very good, also up to standards of any Peruvian famous restaurant. And we have uh, Caribeño, which is uh, Caribbean food, uh, very traditional Mexican dishes like uh, fish tacos and uh, great seafood soup and many other things. Yeah, so, you, so you really have how many restaurants total? It's been? It's 11. 11 restaurants. Plus, if you're not happy with the food, I can't believe you wouldn't be. You have just down the beach, you have Moon Palace uh, uh, with the, the Sun Palace and things like that. And you have access to all those restaurants as well, right? Staying at the Grand gives you uh, unlimited access uh, to Sunrise and Nisuk uh, that are uh, Moon, Moon Palace uh, in the same lo uh, location. And they also have like... Uh, 10 more restaurants to add. So at the end, you will be uh, looking at at least 20 dining options. I think we can, well, that's about 20 days. I mean, is that your average stay now, 20 days? <laughs> it, it should be uh, probably 21, so you can uh, go back to the one that is your favorite. <laughs> no, we would love to go to both of those restaurants that we've dined in so far. Now, let's talk a little bit about the activities. Obviously, you have a great spa here, right? We do. In fact, not, not only it's a beautiful and fantastic uh, spa, it's uh, probably the larger in, in Latin America is 64 cabins. And with all the futures, uh, a water journey that it's uh, for couples, where you have the sensations pool with every future of uh, water that you can imagine. And one of the aspects that I can't uh, forget about it's mentioning, uh, you can have these uh, fantastic places uh, but the staff makes a difference well that is and I got to tell you the service at all the restaurants in the in the rooms has been really super and uh, talking about the the spa itself uh, one of the aspects that is truly out, out, out of this world is uh, the great uh, therapists that we have they are very very well trained we, we go through years of preparation and they test and test and test and test uh, every new treatment that they come up. There is a signature treatment called Kukulkan that it's uh, for 80 minutes with two uh, therapists at the same time working on you and it's very good it's fantastic well we, we haven't had a chance to do that but maybe next time we'll see what happens now then there are other activities for the kids uh, and actually adults i guess a little bit you have a water park uh and also a whole kids gaming and entertainment center right that's right uh we have the water park uh, and right in the middle of the water park there is a playroom for kids uh which is actually divided into two um uh, areas. There's a mezzanine for the younger kids when uh, kids uh, f up to four years can stay there and being uh, watched by your uh, staff. And then downstairs you have like a big arcade place uh, where you will have bumping carts and many, many the great uh, arcades as well. Well, and then there's actually and also another arcade that's actually in the main building for if, for those adults who like that kind of that's stuff great. as well, right? For all the family, uh, there is another arcade uh, near the restaurants at the main lobby as well. And then I couldn't get away with, without talking about some of the bars. I mean, the ones that really stuck out, the lobby bar is actually amazing. It's got a beautiful chandelier. Uh, and then last night, I, I, I got a little secret. Uh, <laughs> the, got the I, I got the password and it's called, well, Speakeasy gives you a sense of what kind of uh, resort that what place that is the idea is, is to, to keep it like uh, on secret it's called the library and if you're walking one uh, through the hall you will see only bookshelves and if you take a closer look you will find the door open it and you will enter 
uh, to this speakeasy uh, bar with this same decoration of uh, that era mm -hmm. and it's actually with signature drinks is I believe is uh, the best uh, bar uh, in the Cancun area. Well, once we finally figured out the code, we got in there and we had some marvelous drinks. But before that, we had some great drinks up in the lobby bar, and your staff is terrific. Uh, is there anything else you want to tell travel advisors about how to best experience this resort, uh, the, how to tell their clients about how to best do this? I will uh, have to stress that uh, there is actually for everyone, if you have a wedding, we have the best locations for weddings. If you have a convention, we have the greatest uh, convention space. Uh, if you have a family reunion, there is something for everyone. We have uh, many guests that comes uh, with three generations and there is something for the kids, for the teens, for the parents and also for grandparents. So all the family uh, finishes their vacation very happy. And the thing is, even if you had all these people here, the place is really spread out. It's got beautiful, you know, beautiful marble floors throughout. It's really, uh, it's a very luxurious environment. So you don't have to realize there's a con conference down the road, really? No, uh, not at all. In fact, uh, it's uh, set up in a way that we can have everything happening at the same time with, with no interruptions and, and uh, finding uh, everybody happy. Well, I've certainly been happy here. Herberto, thank you so much for your hospitality uh, to experience this resort. And, and having been here many years ago, just with Moon Palace, this is way upgraded. It's a very different kind of experience. And I think most of your clients, all of your clients, will find a wonderful place to stay here at the Grand at Moon Palace. Thank you so much again. Thank you so much, James. And I expect uh, everybody to come and we will be happy to assist you. I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.